click. We begin the hour with breaking news here in Los Angeles, where immigration rallies were peaceful all day long. Things suddenly turned chaotic. Uh, at the end of one of today's rallies, police began firing rubber bullets at the crowd. CNN's Ted Rollins was on the scene when the firing began. He talked to protesters also who were hit. He joins me now. Ted, how did it all happen? Well, Anderson, it, it's still a bit confusing as to uh, how this all happened. According to a member of the Los Angeles Police Department, an officer, a motorcycle officer, got into some altercation with one of the protesters or marchers at some point, and that raised tensions. And from there, it was clear that the Los Angeles Police Department, a number of them are still out here uh, this evening in uh, riot gear, uh, just uh, hanging tight. Most of the protesters, if not all of them, have now moved on to another spot. But at some point, it was clear they wanted to move everybody who was still here out of MacArthur Park and this was the spot where the final march of the day ended where people had gathered um, uh, where they were listening to music in fact Cardinal Mahoney was out here talking to the crowd uh, within the hour before all of this ruckus uh, began but clearly something happened and the uh, police were deployed in riot gear and started firing rubber bullets into the crowd of people there were people uh, a small group of people that would not obey the orders which escalated tensions clearly between police and members uh, of the uh, uh, of folks that had gathered in the park, but this was a very small amount of people, and what and eventually happened was uh, a number of sort of innocent people that didn't know what was going on got caught in the middle of it as the riot police moved in they were firing uh, these uh, rubber bullets and we were sort of caught in the, in the middle of it as well and there wasn't a lot of communication it was move and then they were firing we saw a couple families a young daughter whose father was selling hot dogs uh, was caught in the middle of it a number of people were hit by the rubber bullets we talked to uh, one of those individuals a few hours ago I, I evidently don't have the, that uh, tape, uh, but uh, the individual had a, a welt on the side of his um, uh, belly, basically, lift up his shirt. He had a pretty good welt. This is what he was hit with, is one of these rubber bullets. They're very soft, uh, but they're coming out of a, of a gun, obviously, and traveling at a high rate of speed. We didn't see any serious injuries. We're still trying to get uh, this story from the Los Angeles Police Department. We've been waiting in excess of an hour and a half for somebody to come out and tell us exactly uh, what happened uh, to spark this and then uh, why they use that mentality uh, to clear the park as soon as possible, firing so many bullets uh, into what was still a very large crowd at the end of what was a very peaceful uh, day of protest and marching, uh, not only here in Los Angeles, but around the country. Uh, Ted, if you could just, we cut away from, if you could just hold up that bullet again, kind of show how, what, what it looks like, what it feels like. Um, I, I'd never seen one until uh, you showed it to me uh, earlier. Yeah, it's uh, it's rubber and it's soft rubber, so you, you can literally push it. Uh, it's hollowed out in the middle, so it uh, it doesn't look uh, uh, overly um, lethal. That's for sure. I mean, it isn't lethal, but uh, we do have some video. I don't know if we we still have that of an individual that was hit by it, uh, and he has quite a welt on him. They they do hurt. They're coming out of a gun, uh, but they're they're not lethal force. Clearly, the officers knew what they were doing. They're trying to clear this park as soon as they could. They were firing uh, a, n a number of these rubber bullets. They were also telling people to move on using their batons to actually push people out of the way uh, but as I said the tension was was it just seemed to escalate in an instant and we're trying to get the entire story from the Los Angeles Police Department they still haven't come uh, forward to tell us uh, what sparked all this what what really was the reason that they used the, these tactic tactics to clear people uh, so quickly uh, including a lot of families that were really here uh, just peacefully uh, getting together at the end of the march Ted Rollins on the scene thanks very much Ted before the chaos uh, a march earlier today